Hey there folks, Ted King here. I wanted to talk really quickly about this really cool bike behind me. But first, I wanna talk about the concept. Cannondale is launching the Lab 71 series that you might be paying attention to. What does that mean? Lab 71 is when they're taking their already best bikes, already top of the line bikes, and they're making them better. Lightening up frames, of course, giving them really cool colorways, really cool graphics, and then some other cool tips and tricks and, and tweaks that you might not see on other Cannondales. So, the bike behind me that we're gonna go on this walkthrough is the Cannondale Topstone Lab 71. Just released, I just got my hands on it. It has seen approximately 10 feet of use riding around here. I'm really excited to take it out on the roads. I'm excited to take it on some exploratory adventures and really break the bike in. Now what they are doing with this bike is closing the gap between a race bike, which is what you see in my Cannondale Super 6 Evo SE. That is an incredibly light bike, it's capable, it's what I would ride 200 miles across Kansas, is what I would ride in virtually any gravel race. The top stone, however, up to this point is meant for exploratory riding, it's meant for that adventure, it's meant for a lot of bike packing stuff. The gap is being closed, especially because of that weight gap coming down. So this bike is incredibly light, it's race worthy, it is absolutely stunning. I would be proud to line this up on any start line or on any adventure. So. Rather than me talking about it, let's take a look. All right, the absolute most standout feature when you look at this bike is the colorway. It is a thing of beauty. Up front, you have this matte black motif. Looks awesome. Cut largely down the middle, and then out back is what's called ox blood marble, I believe. It is this marbled red, maroon, black. It looks absolutely stunning. It's paired up with some popping silver font on both the Lab 71 out back and Cannondale up front. The thing just looks mean. It looks awesome. I love this bike. So let's go front to back. I'm shifting with SRAM Red Axis. Beautiful shifters, work great. Been using them for years, absolutely love them. Those are hanging out on the Zip Explore handlebars. Now what you get with the Explore handlebars is the tiniest bit of flare in the drops right here. I've been using those on my exploratory bikes for a while and I absolutely dig it. Furthermore, what you see here that you might think is carved from marble is actually a stem. This is the SL Sprint stem by Zip. It is a thing of beauty. It looks dominant. It looks amazing. It looks radical. Great work, Zip, on the cockpit. Now we're gonna go down to the drivetrain. Traditionally on my gravel bikes, I ride a 46 tooth front train ring. I ride that on virtually all of my bikes for all of the terrain because when paired with a 1050 rear, you can virtually do anything. However, because this bike is made for a little bit more exploratory riding, I decided to go with a 44 tooth front chain ring. Just give me a couple more gears, a couple more something, the ability to go uphill just a little bit easier. As always, my friends at SRAM, SRAM Mountain Biking, have built this XX1 rear derailleur paired with the 1050 rear. So with that gear ratio, I'm pretty much riding up a gosh darn wall. Very excited about that. Now, of course, this being a SRAM axis build and it being a one by, what are you gonna do with double shifts? That is something I'm incredibly excited about. Back here, RockShox Explorer dropper. Never had a dropper on a gravel bike. They say that it is amazing. I'm looking forward to it. So, with that double shift, I'll drop the, the saddle, I'll be able to give myself a couple more inches of, uh, of reach, give myself a little bit more, a little more, a little more real estate in my undercarriage. Nothing wrong with that. Now, you often have a saddlebag right about here, right? It's still doable with the Explore uh, dropper. However, what is super cool is this rack strap system. So you can strap in your tube, tire, lever, anything you need, hanging out there, protected, easy access, big fan of that. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the wheel tire combo. What I have for wheels are Zip 353 NSWs. These things look like absolute Sharks, missiles, speed demons. Uh, they do have that rippled effect across the rim. They look so good and they even ride better. 
wide internal so you can fit a bit nice wide tire in there. Uh, I've got the same wheel front and rear, same tire front and rear, which of course is the Oracle Ridge, 700 by 48 by our dear friends at Renee Harris. Furthermore, what you notice in a 700 by 48, you have a ton of clearance, ton of mud clearance, ton of wobbly wheel clearance, if that were ever to be a problem. Not an issue here. Ton in the front, still plenty of room in the back. Nothing but cool factor there. So, geez, that's the bike. I'm thrilled with it. I'm thrilled to go for a bike ride. I'm uh, thrilled to take it for a spin. I'm thrilled to have shown you this bike. I'm thrilled to take it for some adventures. I think of things like Vermont Overland. Short, punchy, but yeah, we're gonna wanna get a little bit of suspension from that kingpin. Oh yeah. Furthermore, you have the kingpin suspension in the back. So the only moving part is right there. There's a pivot here. There's no other moving parts. You get a little bit of Rotation there, and then in the chain stays and seat stays, that's where you get the, the movement, thanks to a little bit of compliant carbon. So it saves your back, saves your butt, and gives you the ability to have a nice plush, long ride. So that's what we got. Thanks very much for watching. I already love this bike. You're gonna love this bike. Keep your eyes peeled for the Cannondale Topstone Lab 71. Until next time, please enjoy the ride.